What, what issues are you going to run on? Well, the primary issue I'm going to run on is water, actually. I think that's the biggest issue facing the whole nation. Uh, we see it not only with the droughts, but with fracking. We saw it with what happened in Charleston, with the spill. Uh, we see it with mountaintop removal, which is not just a West Virginia issue, but which is an issue that affects seven or eight Appalachian states. So I think I'm going to be running on that. I'm going to be running on health care. I'm going to be running on NSA and spying. Uh, all the national issues that, that come readily to mind. What, uh, if Natalie Tennant was for a moratorium on mountaintop removal and fracking, would you run? Uh, yes, I would run anyway, because the Mountain Party is, is uh, by far the most progressive party in the state. And, you know, the more voices that are speaking common sense, the better, if she was running on that. You know, a big argument against your running is that you would be a spoiler. It was even raised here at the convention. Uh, there's a chance you'll be a spoiler and elect Capito, who you, who you spoke eloquently against. How do you argue the spoiler argument? Well, number one, I, I don't think the race is going to be that close. Uh, so, and then the other argument I would say is that the Mountain Party has been pretty consistently getting about 3%. And I, we might be able to grow that this year to four, possibly even five percent. That would be amazing. But those people are voting for Mountain Party people because it's the only alternative they have. It's the only, it's the only party that actually reflects their values. And what I'm saying to you basically is, those are people that would not vote otherwise if the Mountain Party wasn't running somebody. Natalie Ten and Capito are pretty much the same when it comes to coal issues. True. Um, why do you think that is? Because you can't get elected to the United States Senate unless you kiss the, the black ring of coal. And so you're saying you won't be elected, you're conceding that up front? Yes, I'm saying I won't be elected. Well then why are you running? I am running because running and telling the truth about what's going on in the country and in West Virginia, to tell that story is victory. Telling the truth in a, in a race where it's all about money and corporate greed and who can get the most out of West Virginia and the most out of the people across the nation, that's corruption. So to, so to speak the truth and be beholden to no one is, 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 is a victory. Speaking the truth is victory. Okay, and just finally, give us your position on mountaintop removal and fracking. My and position, why, and why it's your position. My position on mountaintop removal is that it is, a, a, it's all in the name of it. Mountain top removal, really? Oh my God, you know they're stripping the highest mountain in Kentucky, Black Mountain, right as we speak? It's a horror show. It's, it's, it's ecocide, and it should be s stopped immediately. Now, we know that there, there are some people that have jobs in it. Actually, they're horrid jobs. They're, it's a terrible job to strip your own c mountains. But, so we have to make a plan, and that's where I part company with all those other politicians is all they want to do is dig in their heels. They don't want to recognize that the days of coal and mountaintop removal are going to come to an end anyway. They need to come to an end now, and we need to start working on ending it now. And fracking. Fracking, fracking is... That train has already left the station. Unfortunately, the Halliburton Law is like a, like the broad form deed of the current era. It's an environmental blank check. We need to put laws on the books that uh, have full disclosure about you know what's being put in the ground, what's being taken out of the ground, where the water is going, and we just need to have oversight on this uh, immediately. So you know we have one we have a super low severance tax rate on coal that needs to be raised immediately. Our severance tax rate on natural gas is ridiculously low. We need to create a future fund for West Virginia, probably for the whole country, really, when you think about it. Why shouldn't we be doing what North Dakota is doing, which is raking off a little bit off the top to diversify our economy, to give Pell Grants for students, take care of vets, take care of senior citizens, have daycare centers, and develop the alternative economy and the green economy. What are the chances you're going to get into the debates? I'm not even sure they'll have any debates. The last debate was sponsored by uh, Shepherdstown. I don't know that any debates, the League of Women's Voters doesn't seem to sponsor debates anymore. The West Virginia Broadcasters Association has only done the governor's race and they've never allowed the Mountain Party person to participate. So, I mean, I will try. If there's any debate that's going to happen, I will try to push my way into it because I've, I've been able to speak in the debates to people and they've responded. 
and to not be in the debates hurts, I will tell you. And the last debate you were on was which one? I was in the Shepherdstown debate with John Racy and Joe Manchin.